an offsetting project of the society that puts the citizens, the basic citizens, at the first priorities and occupation and preoccupations. Present during the ceremony were equally principals, regional delegates, and head of sectors and services within the rank of the government. Speaking to the participant, the governor of the Southwest region, His Excellency Bernard Okalia Bilai, began by appreciating the effort of all those who took time to participate during the workshop and equally told them that the lessons for the multi sectoral crisis which disrupted common economy and social development strategies during 1980 on the 31st of December 1995 the president of the Republic his excellency president Paul Bia ordered the elaboration and implementation of national program on governance in Cameroon with the aim of transforming the various organs of the state into an efficient steering and regulation system adapted for the recruitment of a modern and democratic society to defend and implement strategies and action programs that meet the expectations of the populations and ensuring sustainable economic and social and cultural development. The governor equally highlighted some of the aspects in which the population need to put in in order to ensure that the government realizes its objective, the establishment of public administration truly at the service of users, the consolidation of the rule of law to establishment of legal and judicial environment which guarantee the security of people and properties on investment, the promotion of a cultural accountability in the area of economic and financial and social management via the economic, financial and social management sector, the participation of citizens and civic society in the management of public affairs and improvement of the electoral system via the civil society sector, the enhancement of transparency in the management of public affairs by combating corruption and the misappropriation of public funds and anti-corruption sector, the establishment of decentralization structure for the effective participation of population in the management of local public affairs in decentralization. In view of what the governor said, the strategies and objectives outlined, it can be said that the implementation of the National Governance Program Action Plan has enabled significant progress in the sector concerned even though the shortcomings and new challenges are to be addressed. However, the government is doing everything within its best to ensure that a good governance becomes a priority. We have to organize from time to time workshops to sensitize all stakeholders on the role that, the key role that governance has to play for, to boost national development and uh, decentralization to focus on my own area has a very important role to play in such a way that we have to gather all our forces at the local level all means required really to promote local development to make that make sure that all local and maybe later on the regional authorities are really contributing helping the state giving a support to the state to promote national development but it looks like decentralization is still a far-fetched dream in Cameroon. It's not a dream at all. It's not a dream. You know, we are going step by step. The government started by, I mean, creating council since, since, and we started very uh, before some most of African countries, and we went further by transferring powers and resources to councils. We started with 2010, and for the first uh, step, we can say that. We are almost through with the transferring of power and financial resources to council. So we are going step by step and making sure that we are going, we are still deeping the national process on decentralization. After this workshop, what are your expectations? We expect all stakeholders to be aware of require requirements that we have to meet in all areas. I mean, public administration, justice, decentralization, the implication of the civil society in the management of public affairs, and then they fight against corruption. Questions were asked as to the amount of power and funding allocated to various delegations that it is insufficient, however, that the government should put in measures so as to ensure proper allocations of funds within the regional delegations and equally within secondary schools in the region.
The governor crowned it, the remark by saying that the workshop will enable all participants to be involved in governance in order to better identify the challenges of governance and understand the contribution expected from each of them in every time and every need so as to achieve objective as discussed and described by the President of the Republic in Vision 2035. Established in 2002 in the southwest region with headquarter in Limbe was the National Employment Fund with one purpose to create a liaison between job seekers and job providers and equally to provide a good quality service to job providers via training job seekers so that they can meet up with 21st century work capability. The National Employment Fund is currently organizing a one-week open-door day to sensitize the public on some of its services that it offers. The open-door day Official launching in Limbe was done by the senior divisional officer of Fako Zantroa, accompanied by other officials in the light of the representative of the government delegate of Limbe City Council, Andrew Mutaka Monjimba, the divisional officer of Limbe One, and other administrative authorities. Present during the ceremony were equal employers and potential job seekers who came to get the information and to get more detail as to how the National Employment Fund is operating. I'm a student, I was a student in Team Black, I went through a 12 month training, intensive training uh, on computer maintenance and um, how did this came about, I just uh, passed through. I just passed through the National Employment Fund which I have applied since 2014 and uh, luckily I was selected as one of the candidates which they have to sponsor the study for computer maintenance and um, well um, they took everything in their own side it means uh, that is forms everything they just uh, provide everything possible for me to go through this training and uh, I follow it keenly even though it was painful you know but uh, I went through and now I am happy that I am a graduate in uh, computer wizard or computer science. The National Employment Fund, as part of its strategy, intermediation between matching campaign to job seekers, training, ameliorate skills and empowerability of job seekers, project financing, promotes self-employment, dissemination of information on job market for transparency of the job market. This activity is, uh, let's say, an information activity to let people better know what is the National Employment Fund, what the National Employment Fund do every day so that people are more aware about our activity in terms of uh, uh, helping job seekers uh, for their uh, searching uh, job, uh, helping the companies in terms of finding uh, the profile they are looking for, uh, what we give in terms of uh, training job seekers to give them more skill to be inserted in the job market and uh, for those who want to be self-employed, what the procedure, what the possibility uh, they can have at the level of the national government. It's just, just to showcase uh, our everyday activities so that the National Employment Fund should be more open and more known by uh, our different Ever since the National Employment Fund came into effect within the Southwest region in 2002 to 2016, official statistics state that out of 13,327 candidates have gained salary employment out of 33,596 received, constituting a percentage of 40. Within such, for that which relates to independent employment, 5,234 individuals and groups programs have been put in place in capacity building the national employment fund has trained 5000 
37 persons in diverse disciplines. Of the 33,596 persons received at the National Employment Fund, about 60% have benefited from the aforementioned categories. The equally highlighted that job seekers have been equipped with vital information which will help to guarantee their food and sustainability within their family. One, two, three, go. conference for the Cameroon Film Festival have been organized at the Boya Mountain Hotel. The press conference brought together filmmakers and stakeholders within the rank of Hollywood, Bollywood, Nollywood, Collywood, and all other sectors within Cameroon. Chairing the press conference, Mr. Ago Gibbet about called on all the pressmen women to be facilitators in terms of disseminating the information of the entertainment industry however decried the attitude of cameroonians for not loving and promoting cameroonian product in the light of films that is moving in a different dimension from uh, best actor best actress best director best uh, camif overall film best documentary best short film uh, uh, we are giving a lifetime achievement award and we are also giving uh, honorary awards to two people, two individuals who have done a lot to support the, the film industry. The team, or the people you see here today, are very passionate filmmakers from, from their own countries and they've done some amazing films that uh, I as a producer would like to copy the concept or maybe try to try to do something like that, the techniques and all of that. Equally, questions were raised as to how and what are being done in order to ensure proper scripting and production of movies. Tag of Gilbert Ebot highlighted that Cameroonian filmmakers are producing good scripts and are good actors. That the major problem is that Cameroonians do not love to consume their home product. Ambassador Gramsci Noir of the Cameroon Film Festival, on his part, it is time for Cameroonians to be united towards their, their cultural diversity and to put in their best so as to promote Cameroonian products that are very good. Camif is a platform where you bring in filmmakers. It's almost like saying, what do you make of uh, government's um, economic forum around the world? What do they make? You know, what do they make of it? They go there, they meet themselves, they, 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 they bounce ideas and then find out how to see if they can come up with a synergy of some sort, collaboration, whatever, to, um, to grow. I was the bad I have no foresight or hindsight as to good business. I'm just a show person. Like I think we always say this show business. Or, and unfortunately, we, we are just the creative mind. So when people ask me, even I didn't know that none of it was going to turn out that this big, honestly. And if I was asked at the time that, did you see Nollywood the way you see it today back then? I was like, honestly, I didn't. All I can say is that hopeful, being hopeful, just believing that hopefully some way along the line, as you all progress, as you allow your passion drive you to make the movies, to be the actors, the filmmakers, the creative people, you will find the bearing. You'll find people will enjoy your passion and they will be part of it. So I just want to have that belief and say, but hopefully, I see it growing and getting better. However, the festival is expected to run through this week. A very close friend and somebody who has been. Miss uh... Belinda. <laughs> Atlant supermarket in Moluko Boya has collapsed, damaging properties worth hundreds of million CFE francs. According to eyewitness accounts, the set building was a single building that was transformed recently to three story buildings, and the weight could not sustain the buildings eventually collapsed. Eyewitness equally highlighted that those that were on the board manages to escape. This morning, we're in the house, so 
Some few minutes later, we just heard some huge noise while inside the house. Getting outside, came to find out that the whole supermarket is down. So immediately, we had to find out if there are people inside or not. The, the owner of the supermarket is still saying nothing. It is common in Moliko to see buildings being erected that were meant just from bungalow change overnight to story buildings a situation that the government over the years have been putting in much emphasis to eradicate but the tradition in moliko is a call for concern for the government to see into some of the buildings that are surrounding the mountainous area boya is noted for its eruptive nature depending on the fact that it is located at the foot of mount cameroon which is an active volcano with the last eruption emanating in 1999 2000 and scientists have equally shown that building of structures within boya must meet a particular standard as stipulated by geologists and land survey however the case a lot of landlords still build their buildings without taking proper precaution as of now proper investigation as to what may have caused the building to collapse is still ongoing yes.